My name is John. And you, what did you call me, John? I called you an asshole. And where do not... you work? Where do I work? Yeah. I'm a first responder. First responder? Are yeah. you calling me an asshole? Because you're not wearing your mask in a required store. Okay, and you even know me? I'm running for the state co or for the U.S. Congress, and you're okay. calling me an asshole? Sweet. Okay, buddy, we've got you. Hey everybody, I'm Matthew Hines. I'm running for the first congressional uh, district seat in Washington state. And I'm running as an independent in the 2020 election. If you live in Whatcom King, Skagit, or Snohomish counties, I hope you will check me out on my website at vote for Hines, um, at vote for uh, number four, Hines.com. Now, I wanna talk about this George Floyd incident and I really wanna talk about <clears throat> the truth of what is really going on here because in every case that you see where these uh, municipalities, governors, um, mayors, whatever, because of their flawed policies, every time they screw up, they come out and say what a good job they did. Well, I think we all know better and I think that these riots that we're seeing are partly evidence of that. Now, I want to talk to people in my districts, or my district, and in my counties, so that you know that I know exactly what is going on here. I'm not some white guy who grew up rich and had everything handed to me. We grew up, I grew up dirt poor, right? We had an outhouse. Um, we had nothing. In fact, um, we were so poor we couldn't even afford a black and white TV. Our TV was just black. So now I wanna to talk to you today about what's really going on here with George Floyd and his tragic death. Now, first of all, I know exactly what people go through in the um, legal system because the legal system is just basically a net. It is a dragnet. It is thrown across every community across America. And once they get you in that net, you don't get out. But the whole goal is through encouraging you to drink or to smoke weed or do whatever um, you do that's illegal. Well, you see it on the TV all the time. Oh, it's good. It's great. It's cool until you get caught in the net. Because once you're in the net, you're never out. It's on your record for life. Now, that is the basic point, but let me tell you how this affects me personally, and I posted many videos about this. Last November, I was attacked. I was attacked in a swimming pool um, here in my town by a person, um, an immigrant um, from China, and um, I went home and called the police. You know what? I was charged four months later after I declared I was running as um, a candidate for governor, I got a thing in the mail that I was charged with assault four months later, um, and I'm the one that filed the complaint. They also told me that I never filed a complaint, and they pressed it on me to produce uh, uh, the proof that I'd ever filed a complaint about this, which I promptly did, and then they shut up. So this is something that happens to everybody. Um, and the only thing is, is that with uh, most African Americans and a lot of white people, heck, you don't, got, you don't have the thousands of dollars to fight the American legal system and they have almost unlimited resources to fight you when they really want to get you for whatever reason. Now, if you're black or if you're white, you have to understand they are manipulating you to tears. These Democrats think that they can just mine the African Americans like gold or oil or something else. They'll always vote for them and then they can always turn around and put them in jail. And, and they'll keep taking it. And finally, Donald Trump has come out and said, no, this is not the system that we should have. No, it's not the system that we should have. And <clears throat> what is happening here with George Floyd is that first of all, you have this um, inherent um, systemic 
uh, attitude towards poor people and people that have been put into the system. Because once you come up on one of their, you know, police things um, as having a crime, you're a criminal and they're going to treat you as such. You don't ever really pay your dues in this country. And that also affects your getting a job, et cetera, et cetera. But so not only um, that, but now um, if you're poor, guess what? You are considered non-essential. If you've been put out of work, um, if you've been locked in your house or apartment, uh, quarantined for months, et cetera, et cetera, while other people that work for Fortune 500 companies are out living it up, making it big, and, what you're wa and watching their stocks go up while you're watching your whole life um, disappear before you. So what has happened here and what you're seeing and you're going to continue to see, and let me just um, say this also, is that today I'm supposed to be down giving a speech with a bunch of white people at a rally in Olympia, when really the white people and the black people should be together having the same rally. Um, or having the same protest. Now, the only difference between the two is that with the white people, they haven't got to the point yet where they're up in arms. With the African Americans and poor people like myself, this has been going on for years. And what you're seeing now is people are have just had enough. So what's happening is the rich are going to use their military, they're going to use their police forces against the poor. And really, that's what the whole thing is about. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to flash a, an image here of a armored car in my hometown. An armored car, I live next to Microsoft. Why do they need an armored car, armored car back in November, or actually this is February? What are they preparing for? What were they waiting for in February before this virus thing came out? <clears throat> so, I just want to talk to you as a candidate for the first congressional district in Washington state. I'm not one of these people that's full of crap. I know exactly what's going on. And if you want somebody to represent you, because you are a human being, not because you're rich or poor, but because you need things and you are in danger of losing everything, then consider voting for me. Because if you vote for these people that are full of crap, especially the Democrats, who have been mining black people for years and they have never woken up to that, then you probably are gonna deserve what you get. But I am Matthew Hines and I am running for Congress because I've had enough and I want to do something about it. So check me out at Heinz for Guff. Again, you guys, um, try to keep it peaceful. I know it's really frustrating, and I'm with you. I, the thing is, you know, I'm running for Congress. Otherwise, I'd be out there uh, with you too, because I'm no, uh, I'm no uh, civil rights guy um, or anything, but it's not about civil rights. It's about rich versus poor and divide and conquer. So take care, be safe, and we'll see you on the next update. And I'm, I'm with you guys. You know, I, don't, I wouldn't normally do this because it's uh, pretty cheap and, and whatever, but this time I have to say I'm gonna raise uh, my fist because I believe now that um, it is time for some black power. So vote for me and I'm gonna give you more and then some. All right, take care. My name is Matthew Hines. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran of the 82nd Airborne. I took the oath, and I'm here to defend my state.